For anyone who's eaten a delicious piece of fresh tuna sashimi, it's hard to imagine a seafood menu without tuna on it. But that might be our future if we don't take action. Scientists warn we are running a very real risk of depleting the ocean's tuna thanks to overfishing. We arrive at the dock of a small tuna factory in Manado, Indonesia, just as this fishing boat is unloading its yellowfin catch. They use a single line. Conservationists say it's the most sustainable fishing method. We're still finding the fish, the boat's captain says, but some years we have to go farther out to get it. The fish are also smaller. Though it takes at least two men to heave around, each is about half the weight it should be. This is how your sushi and sashimi start out. The first stage is cleaning the fish. Sanitation here is key. This small factory produces around 2,000 tons of fresh tuna a year, exporting it to the Japanese and U.S. markets. Unlike these fish, most tuna are caught using net or longline fishing, techniques that bring in massive amounts of tuna but drain the population. Simply put, tuna stocks won't last much longer. We pretty much worry about overfishing. Of course, we, everybody have to sit down, I think. Uh, not only our problem. This is uh, international, every country, stakeholder have to sit together. Scientists warn we have to take action now. According to the WWF, we've already managed to fish out 90% of the world's large fish and 40% of the world's recorded catch is wasted, as in caught in nets and not consumed. As Dr. Lita Petsode of the WWF says, it's not just about saving the fish. If we don't uh, address overfishing for some of the species, and tuna is very critically overfished, then there will be no jobs, there will be no food going to Europe and the United States and Japan, and also the food security for people living here is going to be really a problem. At stake is the livelihood of millions of people, the loss of a major source of protein for hundreds of millions, and the collapse of a multi-billion dollar industry. In Japan's infamous Tsukiji fish market, bluefin tuna prices are off the charts. In January, one sold at an auction for just over $100,000. The financial incentive to hunt down to the very last bluefin tuna is huge. But if we keep hauling fish out of the waters at this rate, we're going to find ourselves with a vast ocean and very little to eat from it, as the last tuna is carted away to the highest bidder. Arwa Damon Siena, Monado, Indonesia.